Hello everyone, and welcome to Agriculture Insight. Did you know that the US produces over 2.4 billion pounds of grapes every year, along with millions of high-quality grapevines and the world-famous sweet raisins? From the lush, sun-kissed vineyards of California, grapevines are carefully propagated and nurtured, ready to bring vitality to fields far and wide. Then, plump, juicy grapes are meticulously harvested and processed into those sweet, chewy raisins we all know and love, a household favorite and the star of countless sweet treats. Join us as we dive into the journey of how tiny grapevines grow into perfect raisins. Let's get started. California, particularly the San Joaquin Valley, is proudly known as the raisin capital of the U.S., producing 100% of the nation's raisins. Here, over 1,500 dedicated farmers tend to sprawling vineyards that stretch across more than 100,000 acres, thriving in the region's warm climate and fertile soil, perfect conditions for growing grapes. American raisins are primarily made from green grapes, especially the Thompson seedless variety. This seedless grape boasts a naturally sweet flavor, thin skin, and an ideal texture for drying, allowing it to retain its signature chewy softness and rich taste. It's no wonder this grape is the heart and soul of America's raisin industry. The journey to create these sweet little delights begins with tiny grapevine sprouts, where life first takes root. The process of creating grapevine seedlings starts with mother vines in the vineyard. These mother vines are meticulously cared for and thoroughly inspected to ensure they are free of pests and diseases. Cuttings are typically harvested during the winter months when the vines are dormant to minimize potential damage during handling. Once harvested, the cuttings are bundled and loaded onto trucks for transport to the production facility. At the production facility, the grape cuttings are straightened using specialized machinery to remove any bent or substandard sections. They are then trimmed into smaller segments that meet the standard size for grafting. This process ensures uniformity and quality, preparing the cuttings for the next steps in the propagation process. The rootstocks are carefully gathered into large bundles to ensure they are easy to handle during the next steps. Once bundled, they are immersed in a specially formulated chemical solution designed to stimulate sprouting and encourage healthy growth, giving the grafted vines the best possible start. In a similar manner, the budwood is meticulously trimmed into smaller, uniform pieces, much like the preparation process for the rootstock. The trimmed grape cuttings are grafted onto rootstocks using the precise omega grafting technique. This method ensures secure unions and a seamless connection between the scion and rootstock. Precision is key in this process, as it significantly affects the survival rate of the grafted cuttings. Once grafted, each union is carefully inspected to ensure it is neither loose nor misaligned. After budding, the grapevine branches are usually dipped in a special solution to improve the success rate. This solution often contains fungicides to prevent diseases and growth hormones to speed up healing at the grafting site. The grafted cuttings are then placed in trays filled with a sawdust-like medium, often coir, a renewable coconut fiber. This environment retains moisture effectively, providing ideal conditions for the grafts to heal and sprout. The rooting process lasts about 18 days and is closely monitored to maintain optimal temperature and humidity levels. Once the plants in the greenhouse reach the desired size and health standards, they are harvested and dipped in paraffin wax. This wax coating helps protect the plants from moisture loss and environmental stress during their transition to outdoor planting. This step is crucial to ensure the seedlings retain their vitality and remain robust during transport and planting. Next, grape planting machines are brought into action. These machines are equipped with seats for workers, who carefully place each seedling into the rotating mechanism of the machine. As the machine moves slowly across the field, it plants each seedling at the correct depth and spacing. Simultaneously, the machine gently compresses the soil around the seedlings, 
to secure them and promote healthy root development. This process reduces manual labor and maximizes planting efficiency. Throughout the growing season, the grape plants are irrigated using a drip irrigation system. Fertilizers and growth stimulants are applied according to a schedule to ensure the plants grow strong and healthy. Regular pest and disease control measures are also implemented to protect the plants from potential threats. At the end of the growing season, as the plants enter dormancy, they are harvested using specialized machinery. These machines gently dig up the seedlings and group them into bundles, ensuring that the roots and stems are not damaged during the process. The bundled seedlings are then transported to the processing facility for further treatment. At the facility, the seedlings undergo a final inspection. The roots and stems are trimmed to remove any unnecessary parts. The seedlings are then dipped in a green protective solution designed to shield the roots from bacteria and fungi while retaining moisture. This treatment helps prepare the seedlings for transportation and ensures their health and vitality are maintained during the next stages. These bundles are stored in cold storage facilities to maintain their freshness and vitality until they are ready to be shipped to commercial vineyards. The seedlings are then transported to commercial grape growing farms. Before planting the vines, farmers prepare the fields by installing sturdy wooden or metal posts along the vineyard rows using specialized machinery. These posts serve as the framework for trellises, supporting the grapevines and guiding their growth for optimal sunlight exposure and air circulation. Next, grape planting machines are brought into action. These machines are equipped with seats for workers, who carefully place each seedling into the rotating mechanism of the machine. As the machine moves slowly across the field, it plants each seedling at the correct depth and spacing. Simultaneously, the machine gently compresses the soil around the seedlings to secure them and promote healthy root development. This process reduces manual labor and maximizes planting efficiency. Once planted, the grapevines are nurtured with the help of modern equipment to ensure healthy growth and high productivity. Pruning machines are used to quickly remove unnecessary branches, improving airflow and allowing the vines to concentrate their energy on fruit production. To protect the vines from pests and diseases, advanced sprayers apply protective treatments evenly across the vineyard canopy, ensuring the plants remain in peak condition. Modern machinery makes clearing weeds around grapevines a fast and efficient process. Equipped with precision blades and sensors, these machines can cut weeds close to the base of the vines without damaging the plants. Grapevines typically start producing fruit about two to three years after planting. In California, grapevines bloom between May and June, during spring and early summer. It takes around three months for the grapes to reach their peak ripeness. Once they are fully ripe, farmers often use the traditional method of allowing the grapes to dry naturally on the vine. This process, taking about two to three weeks, causes the grape skins to transform from green to a light golden brown hue, indicating the natural drying process is underway. Specialized harvesting machines are used to collect them. These machines gently shake the vines, causing the dried grapes to fall onto soft collection trays below, minimizing damage. The raisins are laid out in carefully prepared rows on the ground to dry completely under the sun. Once the raisins have reached their perfect level of dryness, another machine gently lifts them from the ground into containers, preparing them for transport to the processing plant. This method saves time and protects the quality of the raisins. In some areas, instead of letting grapes dry naturally on the vine, farmers harvest the ripe grapes and bring them to designated drying areas. Here, they are dipped in a chemical that dries the grapes quickly in just a few days. The grape clusters are evenly spread out on sheets of paper or fabric laid on the ground where they are exposed to natural sunlight. This sun drying process lasts several days to a few weeks, depending on weather conditions. The grapes gradually lose moisture and develop their characteristic sweetness and chewiness. 
Once the grapes have dried to perfection, they are collected and transported to processing facilities for cleaning, sorting, and packaging. At the factory, the raisins first pass through a vibrating system that helps loosen and remove debris like stems, leaves, or dirt clinging to the surface. From there, they move to a water-based cleaning system where they are thoroughly washed to ensure they meet strict hygiene and quality standards before further processing. Next, the raisins are passed through a drying system to remove all moisture. Next, they are sorted automatically by size, color, and quality. Raisins that don't meet quality standards are removed or used for other purposes, such as livestock feed. After that, they move to the manual sorting stage. Workers stand along both sides of a moving conveyor belt, carefully inspecting the raisins as they pass by. Finally, the raisins are packed into vacuum-sealed bags or airtight containers to retain their freshness and natural flavor. The packaging is labeled with information about the origin, nutritional facts, and expiration date. The finished product is then distributed to stores and consumers worldwide. California raisins are a pantry favorite in many homes across the U.S., known for their natural sweetness and chewy texture. Grown mainly in the sunny Central Valley, these little gems start as Thompson seedless grapes, dried right in the vineyards under the California sun. They're perfect for adding a burst of flavor to your oatmeal, cookies, or even a quick trail mix snack. Beyond the kitchen, raisins are also a go-to healthy treat for kids and adults alike, packed with energy and nutrients. From school lunches to family recipes, California raisins have a way of making everyday meals just a little bit better. We've just explored the incredible journey of grapes. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or thoughts, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.